So this is quite an interesting uh, question from the JE main June 22 shift 2. Um, we are asked to sum 40C0, add 41C1, add 42C2, add blah, 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 add 60C20. And it will come to M over N, 60C20. And we've got to find what M and N are and then add them up and give the answer. Now, the most interesting thing about this question is that the difference between this one and this one is always 40. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to convert this one to that one and then we're going to convert the combined this one to that one then we're going to convert the combined this one to that one etc etc until we get the whole lot converted into 60 20 and that will be m over n and what we're going to use to do that is we're going to use ncr equals r plus one over n plus one n plus one c r plus one okay so let's have a look first of all at uh, 40 c zero OK, well, 40C0, just plug in into here, equals, well, clearly R is 0 and N is 40, so that equals 1 over 41 times 41C1. So if we replace 40C0 by 1 over 41, 41C1, then these two combined give us um, 1 over 41 add 1, 41C1, which is uh, 42 over 41 41c1 okay now if we do uh, and that one there is basically the 40c0 add 41c1 that's that bit and um, we'll see a pattern emerging in a minute okay so now let's have a look at 41c1 and we want to convert that into 42c2 well 41c1 you, again using this formula here is equal to 2 over 42 times 42c two and so therefore how many 42 c2s do we have well we've got from here 42 over 41 times 2 over 42 c 42 c2s add one which is the one in the original question 42 c2 which equals now here's where the interesting thing is the 42 cancels out so we're left with 2 over 41 add one which equals 43 over 41, uh, 42 C1, and that bit there is equal to 40 C0, add 41 C1, add 42 C2, uh, that bit equal is that. Now you can already see a pattern emerging here in that 41 C1 is equal to 42 over 41, 42 C1 is 43 over 41, and let's just do one more. Let's do um, 42C, uh, sorry, that's 42C2. Uh, uh, so 42C2, well, what does that equal? That equals 3 over 43 times 43C3. So how many 43C3s do we have? Well, we have 43 over 41 times 3 over 43, add 1, 43C3s. Uh, and that cancels, which gives us 3 over 41 add 1, which is now 44 over 41, 43 C3, which is, and that is equal to 40 C0, add 41 C1, add 42 C2, add 43 C3. And you can see clearly now that we have the pattern uh, in that 43 C3 is 44 over 41, 42 C2 is 43 over 41, 41 C1 is 42 over 41. So clearly, when we add it all the way up to 60 C20, we are going to get uh, that uh, 60 to each C20, we can have 61 over 41, 60 C20. So that's literally just by carrying on uh, this pattern all the way through. Now, of course, in an exam question, you don't need to do the calculation all the way through. As soon as you found the pattern, then you basically just jump from here all the way to here. And now we know that uh, 61 over 41, 60 C 20 is M over N 60 C 20. That's per the question. They tell us in the question that uh, and then they want to know uh, if M and M are co-prime, what's M plus M? Well, 61 and 41 are co-prime, so clearly M and M are 61 and 41, so therefore M plus N equals 102. And that's the answer 
to this question. Now, in actual fact, uh, it's a little bit tricky doing this in an exam, and, and uh, we can generalize the formula by using exactly the same method. Um, we can generalize the formula to this little beauty here. And as long as it starts with k equals 0, we can sum between k equals 0 and p, m plus k, c, k, and it's simply m plus 1 plus p over m plus 1 times m plus p, c, p. And if you can remember this, basically we can answer that question uh, that we just did by inspection. And let's just do, do another one. For example, let's just take, uh, I don't know, um, 25c0, add 26c1. I mean, it's got to start at 0, and the difference between these has got to be the same. So add 27c2, add, da, 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 add uh, 52c27, for example, which is uh, very similar. Uh, basically, that would be n equals 25 here, and p would be 27, which is here. And all we then have to do is plonk these into this formula, and that gives us m plus 1 plus p is 53, m plus 1 is 26, uh, 52, m plus p, c, 27. So we can write down the sum of that um, using this formula. Um, which, which isn't so difficult to remember. Um, just to give one more example, let us imagine uh, 2c0 add 3c1, and this is quite cool, and I'm leading into Pascal's triangle uh, uh, in a minute here, so add 5c3 add da, 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 add 8c6. Um, now, putting that into the formula, we would have p equals 6 and n equals 2, so our sum of all of that lot would be 9 over 3 8c6, which is equal to 3 8c6. Now let's we can actually put this into Pascal's triangle because here's n equals 1, and here's n equals 2, and here is n equals 8. And I like I like using Pascal's triangle because it actually turns the formula into real life. So 2c0 is that one, and 3c1 is that one, and 4c2 is uh, that one, and 5c3 is that one, and 6c4 is that, and 7c5 is that, and 8c6 is that. So what this formula is telling us here is that the sum of all of those there, which is that, equals 3 times 8c6, which is that one. So let's add them up. Uh, 1, add 3, add 6, add 10, add 15, add 21, add 28, equals um, 84, which equals 3 times 28, so indeed, uh, hey presto, C86, which is that one, um, is equal to, throw, or the sum of all of that, equals 3 times C86. Um, and that just gives you a nice visualisation of, of what we're doing. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Um, if you did, please subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.